talking about brown crab. Well, it's a brown crab. Well, it's a brown crab. Yeah, we'll mind a man of crab and we're the brown crab. We'll build a field now. We'll kill the free ball. Brown crab, brown crab, go. Come on now. Yeah. Well, hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things Presents The Bradcraft Show. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today... I think we're going to have a little transition. I think we're going to have a change of venue. I showed you in the last episode, in our attempt to gather resources needed to make books so we could start enchanting tools and weapons, I gathered together a herd of cows. With much effort and much frustration, got some cows into the corral here. We actually planted a nice plot of wheat in order to lure the cows using wheat to get the cows here, then using wheat to breed the cows. Since then, I have also stolen some potatoes and some carrots from a nearby village, planted those in here as well. You can use the carrots to uh, attract pigs if you wish. But um, I decided also to expand this corral a little bit because sometimes when you load your world, when you're initially loading into the world, it seems like some of these cows will load outside of the corral if they're too tightly packed within it. So I expanded it a little bit, just to give them a little more room. So we got a good sizable herd. We had our nice uh, crop of sugarcane growing to get paper for our books. We have the cows to give us leather. We were well on our way. I also decided I was going to start making this into a wooden hovel instead of a dirt hovel. Um, I kind of put the brakes on that for now and I'll tell you why in a second. And then I also planted this little temporary tree farm over here where I had some spruce and some birch and I even had some uh, acacia trees and some oak and stuff in there. Also, I don't have to keep deforestatating all the uh, surrounding countryside. But after doing all that, I realized my brothers and I, we like to play the game. We like to play together. And they kind of wanted a multiplayer server to be set up that I'd be hosting on my Computron. And I figured, you know what? I don't have the time to devote to a single player game and a multiplayer game, so I think I'm going to do all of my playing on this multiplayer server. So this world, all this effort, everything I've built here, forget it! It's over! It's done with! We're going to go to our multiplayer server. I've set the server up already. I've already done some initial building there in the server, and I'm going to show that to you right now. So, here we are at the spawn point for the V-World Minecraft server. This is the server that I will be playing on with my brothers, my older bro and my younger bro. I just did a little flat area, this little mosaic for the spawn point. This is the actual spawn point when you first enter the server. Got some signs around here. Welcome to V-World. Lodgings this way. We have a community mine. I decided that my goal here was to get to the spawn point. Um, I wanted to gather resources that I would need before I started my epic journey to find where I wanted to settle. And so I dug this mine, and it was on one hand to help me out, to get me a head start on resource gathering, but also to give my brothers a little head start. So I've dug out, if you saw my previous videos where I was talking about mining, I dug out, here I left them some chests and some crafting and stuff like that. This, these 3x3 three three blocks, I dug out 10x10 10 10 yet again, and so we have all these rows, and I've mined out this whole area. This is 100 of these 3x3 three three blocks here. Mined it all out. All that's mine. I kept all the... Well, actually, I left them some coal and some iron and some things like that. And then I started mining out another 10x10, 10 10, but I haven't done it, actually, and I haven't taken any of the resources from here. But I've mined all the way around the perimeter, so they can come... See, there's some coal exposed, <clears throat> some other resources, more coal, iron, redstone, all this stuff. So they can come in now when they enter the server, and they can easily start mining this out. So they'll have a real big head start on getting resources and things that they need. So that was nice of me, if I don't mind saying for myself. Whoa, there's somebody really close. Must be just behind a wall somewhere. Anyway, so I started that for him. Took a long time. And now we will go up above, and I'll show you the little spawn cabin I made. Just a nice little place for them to rest their heads, and it's getting dark, so we should get there quickly. Come on, run, boy, run. Is there anybody up here? 
seem to be safe for now. We have torches around, so enemies will not spawn in the light, but they could wander in here once they do spawn. So here we go, Birchwood Cabin. Did quite a bit of landscaping around here. I was in the middle of this birchwood forest and there were just all these tall hills everywhere and I could just barely even get around because there were so many trees and stuff. So I cut a bunch of trees down, did a little landscaping with the dirt. So here we have our birchwood cabin. Um, maybe not a cabin. I intended to make a cabin, but now it looks more like a, I don't know, some sort of modern home. But I decided to go with the motif of the birchwood logs here because we have this birchwood forest all around us. Then I use some of the birchwood here. Ah, uh, uh, there's an enderman. Don't look directly at the enderman and he will leave you alone. Here he comes. Ah, leave me alone. If you put your cursor on the enderman, he will go. And then he'll start attacking you and he'll freak you the F out. I almost said a bad word. See, he's grabbing, grabbing dirt right now. <laughs> That's what they like to do. Cause they're idiots anyway i'll just leave him to that look he grabbed a piece here before fill that back in anyway so i think it turned out pretty well i didn't go too crazy with it but ah uh, shut up but it look ah don't look at him go away get out go get 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 out of here man would you go away i'm trying to do a video here buddy anyway this is the house i have constructed we have a little swimming pool down here so we can get water. All right, I'm coming over here. Birchwood cabin. Let's go inside. I put these wooden pressure plates here in front of the doors so when you go out, they'll open automatically. And when you come in, you'll hit the pressure plate and it'll automatically close the door. This doesn't require any redstone or mechanism. All you have to do is just shove the pressure plate right there. And that way you won't accidentally leave the door open and let idiot creepers inside. So here we have a little sleeping area, which I have offset with these spruce wood uh, fence posts. That's one thing I just found out, which I didn't realize in the 1.8 update, since I haven't been looking up any information about the 1.8 update, is you can make different colored fence posts, you can make different colored doors and everything, depending on what kind of wood you use, which before was not the case. So now these are birch wood doors, whereas if I use spruce or different other kinds of wood, they would look different and be a different color. So that's very cool. But in here, we put a little carpet, just some white carpet down. Got some spruce wood planks around. Use some spruce wood and birch wood stairs to kind of set off the ceiling. A little skylight here. Look, we can see the moon. So I think this is a pleasant little sleeping area. Gave them some chests as like bedside tables. So that should be nice for them. In here, we have the crafting area, crafting bench, furnaces. I even made him a damn anvil. That takes a lot of iron to make an anvil, but that's for repairing tools and weapons and things. I have the little crafting area, storage and crafting. Please replace the supplies you use. Thank you. Get out of here. We've got some chests. Left him some cobblestone. Left him some dirt, some gravel, some sand. Here's some granite, andesite, diorite. Over here, I left him some worn tools, which I didn't want to carry with me on my journey. They can make some use of those. Gave him a bucket. Left him some redstone, some coal, and some iron. Actually, a fairly sizable amount of all of those. And then here, just some of the architectural blocks that I uh, used when I was building the house. And they've got some saplings and some wood and some logs. And left them some wheat and some seeds. I even left them some mutton and bread. So they'll be set for food and fire and all that good stuff when they get here. So they'll have a nice head start. And you can see the stuff I decided to bring. Just some stone tools so I wouldn't have to be building tools or making tools on the fly. Ooh, 19 diamonds. I'm not going to make any diamond tools or weapons yet until I'm able to enchant. So that's going to be a ways down the road, but I want to bring this with me. Uh, water bucket. Some spruce logs. I brought some spruce saplings because I really like building with spruce wood, and I can't always find spruce around, depending on where I decide to settle. So I brought this so I could plant some. Some sticks if I have to make tools. Some emeralds, gold, lapis. Block of redstone. Now, this is interesting. Um... If you want to transport a large amount of redstone or iron or coal or things like that, even lapis or gold, you can do this. If you see, one block of this, like that, makes nine normal pieces of redstone. So basically, this is a 28 times nine. That's how much redstone it took. So it basically takes a bunch of stacks of redstone and makes it much more transportable. So if you want to use these individually, you just take these blocks and you can turn it back into redstone in the crafting table. Same with this coal. 
this is nine by 21. Um, and I did that with this iron too. So I could just transport more of it without it taking up a bunch of slots in my inventory here. And just some cobblestone for making tools, the iron. I brought some seeds so I'd have a head start on farming. And I brought some already grown wheat because I want to be able to start breeding animals right away. And I don't want to have to wait for my seeds to mature. And a bed and a crafting table. So I think that's pretty much all I need to begin my journey to find my homestead. I'll just quickly show you the back. Actually, I think I'll sleep first so it's light. And then I'll show you what I did out back for the guys. Take a little nap here. And when we wake up, hopefully the idiot Enderman will be out of there. All right, let's take a look out the window. It's always a good idea to take a gander. Just to make sure there's nobody around. Ah, Jesus. Get out of here. All right. No creepas. Okay, so I made a little sheep pen. We've got 16 sheep in here currently. Hello. And uh, my brothers will... Whoa, spider. My brothers will be able to slaughter and shear these sheep. Get a head start on food production. And in that same vein, I've got a 9x9 nine nine little plot of wheat growing here. So basically, I've been insanely nice to my two brothers. And when they start this game, they're going to have a huge leg up. They'll be able to start building right away. I think they'll probably... They claim they're going to want to stay around the spawn point at first and build up around here, and then they'll probably go their separate ways and find their own homesteads. But they've got a nice head start in doing so. And I also have a pretty good head start with this inventory I have. And I'm going to run out and find a place to live, but I don't want my brothers to know. The whole point is that I build this for them, keep them busy here. Then I go out and find my homestead thousands of blocks away, and they'll have no idea where I am. And maybe I'll, I don't know, pull evil raids or pranks or do things to them. Ah, there's the creep. Ah, nah, get out. Go, go. Get. I'm going to fill in this. So I can't show you uh, which direction I go in. I know where this is because I've been here, obviously. F3, I can hit, the, hit F3 and get the coordinates. So I know where the spawn cabin is. I know where they're going to be. And so I will have the information and they will not. So anyway, I think I'm ready. Onward! to adventure and this is where I've decided to settle I've created another little hovel this time one carved out of the very stone of a mountainside I've already got my little crafting and, f and smelting furnaces I've got some chests with some stuff here's some of the booty that I got from that first mine near the spawn point and I tried to get the game up to the point where I was in my single player world so I could show you the entire enchanting process I had already grabbed I don't know if I have this here I've got some sugar cane I had enough leather to make books and everything with you can see I've already been growing crops getting seeds all that good stuff the problem being I've gotten blown up a couple times by some evil creepers. I'm only at level 12 right now, and I need to be over level 30. So there has to be a little bit of time uh, in order for me to level up a little bit before I can start enchanting. But in the meantime, I'll show you what I've been up to here. See, I, I came to this place. I decided this is where I was going to settle. It's a nice plains biome, and there's some good wooded areas around. There's, a, I think, to the east... There's a roofed forest. There's a cool taiga, a non-snowy taiga. There's actually over here, if you can just barely make that out, there's a flower garden or a flower forest. It's another new biome that I didn't know existed, and I didn't know that non-snowy taiga existed either. So it's all very cool. Again, as I explained in earlier videos, I'm not looking anything up about the 1.8 update, so I like to be surprised by everything. So I came up here to this mountain, and I started leveling it all out. I was going to put my farms and stuff here. And I was going to, maybe going to build on the side of this. That's why I made this little hovel here. But then I came up with a crazy idea. A wild, wacky idea. And you can maybe see what I've been doing over here. I did a lot. A lot of land clearance over there. Using nothing but stone shovels. Because, as I stated, I do not have any enchanted tools or anything at the moment. We'll get to that in a second though. Here's my wheat field. Yada yada yada. Got some cows in here. Sizable herd. Not bad. Got some chests over here. Lots of dirt. We've got just a bit of dirt. 
And we've got some more supplies, even more leather, some nice raw beef, all sorts of good stuff that I've been gathering up. And I've been doing this. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm even ready to explain exactly what this is, but I think we'll go whoa, to the middle over here. Ooh, I hear a zombie. There's some open caverns now that I've exposed. This whole area was filled with rolling hills. Some of them, you know, up to like eight or nine blocks high. And I've gotten rid of all of it in a hundred by 100 block area. Now let's pillar up on the central section here. This will give you an idea of just how vast this area is. Going up. While we're doing this, there's a little bit of business to discuss. Um, some people have asked me what capture software I'm using. I use Shadowplay by NVIDIA. It's included in a lot of the more high-end video cards. Works pretty well. For audio, I've changed my audio setup. I was using a headset before. I am now using just a good old-fashioned Shure SM57 microphone, and I got the Shure X2U interface. It's an XLR to USB interface, so you can plug nice XLR mics right into your computer. So that's what I've been using. Um, also, I have an old channel, The Bradcraft Show, had its own channel at one point called The Bradcraft Show. And if you guys are, you know, anxious for new videos, if you want to see ones that are more about building and things like that, I have a lot of videos posted on that old channel. It's not updated anymore, but if you just search The Bradcraft Show, and I'll put a link to it in the description and maybe one on this video itself, you can check out some of my old episodes. They're, I think they were recorded mostly during the 1.6 update, so some of the information won't be current, but it might be interesting for you. Anyway, you can see here <laughs> this very large expanse of land, which I have mined out, or I guess cleared. And uh, I don't know if I'm ready to tell you what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. It's probably something that somebody's already done, I'm sure, in some other video. But since I don't watch a lot of Let's Play videos, to me, it'll be new. And it's going to be pretty freaking crazy. It's also going to be insanely tedious. Is that a horse down there? What is that? I'm going to go check. Um, so I probably won't be posting a lot of videos showing me clearing all this land out. Hopefully I'll get some enchanted tools soon and this work will go a little quicker. But there's still a lot more to do. I've got plans. I've got plans. Oh no, that's just a brown sheep. Oh well. So there's not too much more to show you in this video. Hopefully the next video I will be finally to the point where I can start enchanting some things. And again, since I haven't looked up the process of enchanting, how it's changed in 1.8. There might be a little trial and error involved. Um, but I'm pretty sure that the whole bookcase thing is still in effect, and I'll show you that when we come to it. Whoa, this, this freaks me out. Oh! Whoa! It goes to the center of the earth. Um, so we'll show you that in the next episode. I'm sure I'll be continuing work on this crazy, crazy build that I've got going here. I'm still kind of working out the details, still haven't completely figured out exactly what I'm going to do here, but I have, I have plans, I have schemes, I have ideas. So until then, until the next episode of The Bradcraft Show, I have been Bradley, you have been the audience, this has been Stuff and Things Presents The Bradcraft Show. Thank you so much for watching. Good day. Hey, cows. Bro!